Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and unfortunately Judy's not here today, but welcome back to my channel. Noel was not feeling good, so he asked if Judy could come hang out at his apartment for the evening to spend some time with him, give him cuddles, and I said, absolutely, sure. I wasn't originally planning on making a video, and typically, normally, I would wait until my co-star was here to film, but it turns out that Chantal has finally, finally, finally posted again. And when I say Chantal, let's go through it all the names again because this has yet another new name. So, you know, we've we've referred to her as Foodie Booty, Chantal, Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Big Beautiful Me, and now ba 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 bum the Daily Chantal. <laughs> like, I don't really quite understand why she continues to change her her name on YouTube. Like, from a branding perspective, I don't think it's smart. Like, how do you grow if, like, people don't even remember what name to look for on the YouTube? But listen, you know, at this point, it is just a quality part of Chantal. It's like something that I just feel like makes Chantal Chantal. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I truly wouldn't. Over the month of January, Sis has been up to both a lot and not a lot all at the same time. She started off the new year strong with two videos about her new weight loss journey. And over the span of time, by day three, let's be clear, she had given up on that. And over the span of the past month has just posted community tab post after community tab post on her channel. Now, at this point, I don't know how relevant all of that is, but trust that I have kept the receipts of all of them. And I know some people prefer me to read them out loud, but quite honestly, right now, sis doesn't have the time. So for this one time, I'm not gonna read out all the receipts, but I will put a little like slideshow presentation with some classic music <laughs> for you all to listen to while you read. So what we are going to do is react to this new video she put out because I've been missing her. I've been missing Chantal. I've been worried about her. The video is titled, I'm Back, Hotel Room Tour and Health Updates. And like sis, why are you in another hotel? I've got a lot of questions. I've got a lot of questions. Now, before we get started, I am speeding this up because sis talks slow as molasses and <laughs> I surely ain't got the time. So let's jump into it right now. Beezer Productions. Okay, so we're just, I'm babies at work till midnight. We're, I'm just continuing on with the cleaning. Sam, you're not helping any Sam. Continuing along with the what cleaning? This seems a little fast. We're going to slow it down just a little bit. But she says, I'm just continuing along with the cleaning as though she hasn't been gone for almost a month. I don't, what do you mean continuing on? Did I miss that in a video? And if I did, it was a, like a whole month ago at this point. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hotel room tour for you guys. We were just in your living room. Why are we now in a hotel? There's no context here. Tell me what's going on. Look at these feet. Why is there a cat in the hotel room? I have so many questions. Here's Baby Chance. Baby Chance. Why is... So, the cats are 
scared, and I can't find Sam. I think he's hidden under the bed somewhere, so, um, here's- But wait, why are the cats with you in a hotel room? What are you doing in a hotel room? None of this makes sense. Girl, I, I'm so confused. I feel like I missed something. Do what we get this time? Ooh, Bath and Body Works? That's wow, <laughs> bougie. So this is a pretty new hotel. It still smells new. Um, that's our shower. Sis. Cat carriers. Baby James is having some fresh snack mukbang style. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> she was crying non-stop when we got here. A microwave. Why is she acting like this is some kind of fancy ass hotel that we all stayed in before? <laughs> this looks like any other hotel room. I don't need a tour of this. I would love an explanation of why you're in a hotel to begin with though. That would that would be a good place to start this vlog off. Um, Keurig with Timothy's coffee. And um, yeah, there's a Keurig in here. So, hardwood floor. Is Pete's gonna jump out? Under the bed, son. I feel like she's gonna look under this bed and there's gonna be a Pete's waiting for us. <laughs> He's just creeping down there. I don't know. Hey guys, just a quick insert here. I did end up finding Sam with the help of the hotel manager. I had to call the front desk and- Get out of here. Cat. I went up and down the lobby. I went outside. Stop. I every inch of this room eight times. There's not many Stop. places. He found the one spot. She said that the hotel manager said, it's common for cats to hide here. There's like an opening at the back up under the sink where there should, like there's a little hole opening. Y'all would have never seen it. So I did find him. He looks terrified. Y'all, what we're not going to do today is bring cats into a hotel and can't keep track of them. Why, why are you in a hotel to begin with with your cats? <laughs> why couldn't your cats stay at home with BB? Like, I... What? <laughs> not Chantal. Not Chantal with the cat she can't keep track of in a hotel for, for no reason. I feel horrible. He's dusty. I'm hoping to coax him out with some treats, but um, I guess he'll be okay. Well, I'm just going to try to keep trying to console him. And oh, cats are masters at hiding. Poor boy. Wait, um, so is, is, is the cat still hiding as of the time that this is posted? I'm... I'm confused because that was a voiceover. Like she actively put that picture in to the video and did a voiceover like in editing, like post filming this. <laughs> I'm, I don't, is, is, is Sam or, or BB or Beebs or what? I, I don't know what his name is. Whatever that cat, is that cat okay? Is it still stuck in the sink? This is the bed for BB and I. Oops. Oh. <laughs> the closet. Nice little girl. <laughs> um, this looks like any area. any really hotel. Long. Got the windows closed, <laughs> but it's a huge window. And uh, that's it. I wonder if there's a Bible. What's in here? A safe. Wish I had money <laughs> to put in there. This is so dumb. I don't see a Bible. And there's their litter box. I can't. Imagine, um, no. unless you're staying there for like long term, why did you bring your cats? Cats can usually go a day or two, maybe even three. I mean, I don't know, I'm not a cat owner, but I know people leave their cats for like a couple days at a time, let alone when you got BB at home. I don't see BB anywhere. <laughs> what is going on? This one is portable, so it folds nicely and it's easy to clean. So yeah, so that's pretty convenient for staying in a hotel with two pets. Hey guys, hey, how are you, how are you? Hey. Welcome back, it's been so long. Yeah, I've missed you. I'm happy to be back making videos for you. Honestly, I really am. I've been really looking forward to it. Um, been needing something to keep my mind off of the really just personal issues I'm going through right now. Now, I will update you guys, bring you up to speed. And uh, then I'm going to... Wait, personal issues, like that's why you're in a hotel right now? Did did BB leave you, girl? Did BB leave you? Is that... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, if you would just tell me why you were in the hotel room, I really wouldn't speculate. But I've got a lot of questions, so my mind's just wandering and jumping around. Move forward and focus on um, 
putting in a lot of effort into some content for you guys. As you see, I changed my name to The Daily Chantal. And the reason I did that is so that I don't have to focus on food. Um, there is a bit of negativity that I associate with the whole foodie beauty thing. And I don't- A little, a little, listen, there's a little negativity that I associate with the Chantal thing in general, girl. Your whole behavior is negative. And that, that ain't got nothing to do with the foodie booty moniker. I just felt like I wanted kind of like a fresh change, I guess. So I'm going to be bringing you content that is, I'm going to try to take the money that I would have spent on food. And as a mukbanger, you can ask anybody you do spend a crap ton of money on food. Girl, ain't nobody surprised. I feel like people have been telling you that, sis. <laughs> we surely have. I would say probably close to, I don't even want to say, but maybe between uh, six hundred, two thousand dollars. Leave. Doing a, a, you know, bang every day. Leave. Um, so, were you doing them every day? Because there was a while there where you're like, I don't. This is not how I eat every day. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> okay. And also, are you making that money back? Six six hundred dollars a month. That's well. I guess I, you're probably making that back on the YouTube coin. So I just wanted to say that I'm gonna probably uh, take that money that I'm saving and put it into you know what adventure vlogs where places how um doing things tell me um, more um i have some beauty reviews i have some beauty products i have to review for you guys so you're gonna see that video you have to tomorrow. i'll probably do it here in the hotel i might wait till i get home depending on the lighting as you can see it's not very good so I'm, i don't want to talk for too too long but i just wanted to say you don't want to talk long. for too too long but there's still 15 minutes of this video left sis so something tells me you're gonna talk for too too long because we're already probably five minutes too long some things I can share with you and some things I cannot share with you right now. I will eventually because this is my journey. I want to be fully, fully transparent with you guys, which I will admit that I have not been always transparent. Which wow. In the past. Wow. The self-awareness. The self-awareness jumped out. <laughs> like, wow. Look at you. I can't find a single lie, y'all. The, the self-awareness is here. She has not always been too too transparent with us and uh but for the most part i'm pretty transparent with you guys i think i'm too much of an open book sometimes really um i think anytime that i have not been honest with you is that i have not been just honest with myself so how oh. can i be honest with you if i'm believing oh own, teases <laughs> own lies Tea. myself, you know? so it's just um lying to yourself is a thing so i'm just going through uh probably the past couple of years have been the most difficult, the most trying health-wise, mental health, um, everything. And But they've also been the more te most teaching, like I say, and that is still going on. What? <laughs> it's still a process that's going on. The past couple of weeks that I've not been, uh, probably been close to a month. Can you just get to the point, say, <laughs> just as a favor to me, I, I would love you to give yourself a resolution this year of just like getting to the point quicker. But I've not been on YouTube making videos. The first two weeks were the worst for physical health, and uh, I'm it's I'm still healing from these things. So that's why I can't talk to you right now about it. What? Whenever I'm finally getting better, um, I will let you know. That 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 right there don't make no sense to me. Not a single lick of sense. What? <laughs> You, you can't tell us this mysterious reason, why, this mysterious health reason. This is like some clickbaiting your health right there because literally the title of this video says health updates. So if you're not gonna update me on what's going on with you, why am I watching? What do you mean you can't talk to me about? It's your health. And l unless there's something I'm missing, but it's hard to say because you're being so vague. You're being vague. Which is, I probably look really low energy, and um, it's not diabetes, it's not an STD. Girl, ain't, <laughs> it doesn't make ain't nobody said it was an STD, girl. <laughs> what? Not a single one of us said it was an STD. Not, no, mm -mm. at least I didn't. I didn't say it was an STD. I feel good to come on here and be able to laugh with you guys and interact um, because whenever I'm not feeling well, mentally or physically, I isolate myself. And um, that's pretty much a lot of what I've been doing. So I've just, I've been in and out of the hospital and it's just been really rough. And I will let you guys know when I'm wrong. No, There's something no, that, no, this is some Amberlynn nonsense. Girl, 
Girl, it is fine to keep your personal health journey, whatever, off the screen. But if you, if you can't talk about it, then don't. Then don't, because then you're gonna get mad that all these people are speculating, all these people have an opinion on what might be wrong with you, and and you're just gonna get mad, and, and you're not gonna give them what they want, but you're out here clickbaiting your health, and it's annoying. It's annoying. I respect your privacy. I, I would love for you to keep it private, honestly. Like, it's clear that that you're not in a place where you're able to talk about it and I would never want you to talk about it if you weren't. But you brought it up, so I came into this video expecting you to say something about it. You got me? You, you understand what I'm saying? I just, I realize I don't really have to share right away. And I you realize, surely like, don't. That, and, you know, people are gonna speculate and really wonder what it is and wanna know. Is that um, what I just not, said? Um, something that's, I don't have like a life-threatening disease or anything like that, it's just something that I, I went through health-wise that I'm okay, I'm gonna get through it, and I'll let you guys know when I'm ready. So I was supposed no. to make a video for you guys yesterday, <laughs> Monday, today's Tuesday, and I, January 28th, and I, I'm really sorry about that, I really felt bad, but I just didn't have the time, and I really have to stop um, either promising things that I know I, I, I mean, I thought I would be able to get a video for you guys, but I just, I couldn't, and I'm really sorry. Don't wanna disappoint you. Girl, I just, here's what I wanna know. I wanna know about this health update that you're not really giving us, and I wanna know why you're in a hotel room. I don't care that you didn't post yesterday. At this point, I don't expect you to do what you say you're gonna do. <laughs> this is, this is your brand, girl. This is your brand. So, I don't need an excuse for why you didn't post. I would love to know why you're in this hotel room with your two cats. I would love to know that. Um, because it's, you know, it's not right to, to say to you guys and get your hopes up that I'm gonna have a video out and then I don't, you know? So um, I underestimated the amount of work that was going into uh, this fumigation preparation. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I forgot y'all. This is why I should have read. This is why I should have read the post before I commented. I forgot. I forgot that she had to clear the premises because her apartment was covered in roaches and she had to have it fumigated. Y'all probably in the comments slaying me right now like, Zach, don't you know about the roaches? Oh, I had forgotten all about it, sis. I, sh I surely did. Beanie's in much better shape than I am right now. So because I'm still healing, he did a lot of the very physical work, but I did start you know, a couple days before him, he was able to, he was off on a weekend. You did what? We pretty much had to empty out everything, every cupboard, every closet, every drawer. And like I said, like, if you're like me, we should just shove everything in there when we clean. So, the, you know, the moral of the story wow. here is just, don't be lazy. Can y'all, well, duh. <laughs> clearly, clearly your laziness has gotten you in some interesting places in life, but... Can y'all imagine vacating your whole apartment so that they can spray the whole thing down for cockroaches? Wow, wow, no wonder Sam is, is looking for a spot to hide in this hotel. He's like, I wanna go back to the roach house. On the right side, uh, we don't have to do spray cleaning. Now, get, our apartment right now looks like we just moved in. It's gonna be hell to put everything back together, but I'm gonna see it as a kind of project because if I keep my, I found that keeping my mind busy and physically busy, like, you know, organizing and everything, it just, it really distracts you from food, it really does. Oh, what else do I wanna to talk to you guys about? There's so much, I mean, in that little, in that amount of time that I've been gone, but I won't talk about everything today. Um, I'm gonna, you know, try to Girl. make videos as often as I can. I changed my name, like I said, to The Daily Show. You Shop. sure did. I really want to do some kind of daily vlogging and- Where? Just share my life with you guys. I would love to see it. I would also love to hear more about your health issues that you've clickbaited. I would love to know what you've been doing for the past month, but you won't tell us. And that's about it. So we're at the hotel here now. I I just can't. I mean, I almost, I just, I, I broke down and cried and I'm kind of on the verge of tears um, as we speak <laughs> because with my cats, I'm just so emotional if I hear them crying or if they're in distress and having them in the cage and they were so distressed and they were so upset and we, we came into the hotel um, we shut the door I opened the, the cages right away both of them ran out now the last time I saw Sam he was sniffing around in the cupboard where the towels are like he was trying to hide there and baby jeans was just you know she's somewhere oh there she is hi 
Baby, <laughs> Baby Junes is over there. So Sam has hidden somewhere in this hotel room, and I can't find him, and it's really <laughs> stressing me out. And I know, I knew he would be terrified, because even at home, he hides for hours if something freaks him out, like even a noise that he doesn't like. He's very skittish. And I'm just so concerned because, you know what, not only could she not find Sam, but also if, if they're allegedly both out of the apartment because of the fumigation, where is BB? <laughs> where is BB at right now? That apartment first, or this hotel room, barely looks like lived in in general, but she definitely didn't show anything that looked like it belonged to him. <laughs> Where, where's BB? So honestly, I already know, like while I'm filming this, that I'm gonna cut out half of the stuff about the, the, the cat being gone because it's like, girl, you already gave us the update at the beginning of this video, and now you're talking about it again, and it sounds like he's still stuck under the sink. So it's just like, I don't have anything else to say about that. Yeah. Anyways, guys, um, I guess that's it. I don't want the video you know, to be too long. But Girl, there are still nine minutes, minutes of this video left. I'm gonna be here all night. We have the Xbox. This is like a brand new hotel. It even smells brand new. It's like, it looks like a new modern condo. Um, it's kind of not very warm and comfortable because of the hardwood floor. I don't know, I've used the carpet. You know, it's stressful, like, upheaving everything and then... And plus Girl, you have you have said nothing. You are just repeating yourself over and over again. It is a, a new year, but it is not a new Chantal. Get to the point. What what are you what are you trying to say here? Bags and plastic and like plastic bags and boxes and sealed boxes because we don't want I don't know what kind of fumigation they're doing exactly. All I know is they said it would be safe after about six to eight hours or something like that. You could come back home. But we're going to stay an extra night just to be safe. And then I'm going to go and, uh, you know, crack a window and put the air purifier, purifier on. Wash all their dishes, the cat's dishes, um, vacuum. It's a big, it's a big thing. You know, you got to clean three or four times by the whole end of it, like deep clean. I can't um, imagine. So, that sounds anyways, horrible. Like a very clean place. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to, um, yeah, BB brought, brought the hose going this is why I don't want to talk too long because I didn't organize what I was going to say. I don't want to talk too long, but you keep talking. You keep talking. Turn the camera off if you don't want to talk too long. This is stupid. This is dumb. I'm so, I'm so out of it, guys. I'm, I'm just so low energy and just... Girl, this is, this is the same energy you've been giving me the past year, sis. <laughs> like, like, I truly, you keep saying you're low energy, and I'm like, I'm getting the same energy. Keep the same energy, and you're doing it. You're doing it. It does feel good to be back. It really does. Like, I just can't. I just need to find things to you know, focus my attention. And I want it to be my channel. I want it to be my channel. Whether I focus all of my efforts into going back to a regular job, uh, um, <laughs> or focus all of my efforts into my channel. We would love to see it. We would love to see you focus your efforts into going back to a regular job. Do do that challenge, sis. Channel, which is like my job, you know? And that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, no matter what, I saw someone comment, like, you know, everything you do is going to take a lot of effort, and that's really true. So I've been keeping that in my mind. And I do okay. want to be more open to your criticisms. Um, but, is without criticism. <coughs> for a long time, I thought that. Uh, <laughs> All it's going to take is literally this reaction video, literally whatever comments she deletes from this video, and she's going to be, nope, no criticism once again. Um... <laughs> you know or just really confuse criticism with trolling it's there's a fine line sometimes you know but i'm gonna try to remain positive okay all right not bitchy that's a big hurdle we for me what <laughs> just, you know, a big one content. and go from there so i hope you guys enjoy vlogs i hope you uh we'll see we'll see a lot of you i'd say some of you um really enjoy the unhealthy mukbangs but there's not going to be any more of that on my channel i can't Ooh. and i all right, y'all, place your bets in the comments if you made it this far in the video. How long is it going to be before she posts another mukbang? I'm just curious. What do y'all think? Really don't see how I was so blind to, I think it's just like I had like, blah, 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 you know, <gasps> when I was doing them, I'm going to do what I want and that's it. Like a big, you know, big fat Girl, baby. this is, this is not the first time you've been saying this about the mukbangs. It's surely not, ma'am. Surely not. 
I mean, like, seriously, a food addict eating <laughs> on camera is really no different than watching an alcoholic drink. And I, I understand that now. I didn't think... Girl, you, ha you have had this clarity before. You have had this clarity before, and then you still went on and did more mukbangs. And you said, I'm going to do whatever I want. Body positivity. I can eat whatever I want. Which is, like, true. You can. You surely can. But also, it's problematic when you're also out here talking about how you have a binge eating disorder. And then you're filming your stuff, self-stuffing yourself with food. It's just the weird comments like that. Because I didn't want to hear it, you know? Surprise! That's not right to do. You know, just because you don't agree with something. Oh, somebody, somebody save this and play it on loop for the next time that she gets mad and deletes comments because they don't agree with her. Can somebody do that? Can somebody save that part? <laughs> just save it out on the internet so we can just pull it up the next time. I'm going to definitely, um, definitely work on being healthier in my okay so you're not going to see me uh, great go with my pizza or anything now if i have a weak moment and i end up having a binge or a relapse, uh -huh. a relapse um then then what i might tell you about it well i could tell you about it but i'm, I'm not gonna video it you know i'll believe it when i see it so there's some changes that are gonna be taking place on my channel, i'll believe so. it when i see it anyways guys i'm gonna go and um look after my cats Try to find Sam still. You don't even know where your cat's yeah, at. Just relax, unpack and relax, and that's all I can do. I might go live later, like I said, so if you like Oh, to watch, can't wait for that. Too. But, um, yes. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, and, oh, I guess I can update you guys on... Girl, you did, you have tried to stop this video 12 times. And also, you still haven't given us any health updates. I didn't even update you on anything, really. <laughs> you sure didn't. I, um, my incision is pretty much healed. I still have just a little tachyderm bandage on it, waterproof bandage. My last appointment with the wound care clinic um, is probably going to be on Friday. I have an appointment, and I said at that point, they'll probably discharge me. Okay, great. It's in the, it was in the soft scab uh, stage, and it's not, there's no um, fluid coming from it. Good. Uh, so, yeah, it's been, there was fluid coming out of it from, like, is this since like my surgery November 20th it was not infected um, girl this all sounds horrible <laughs> I'm so concerned but are you trying to tell me that this isn't the mysterious healthcare issue that you referred to vaguely earlier in the video I got a lot of questions um it was not infectious fluid it was just serous fluid which is just like clear fluid um, but still, <laughs> you know, so it finally stopped draining. And so whenever it stops draining, it's mostly healed. You can stop with the wound care at the wound care clinic, which is so uh, great. Oh, I can do my own. Okay. Sorry. All yes. right, girl, you're tired. I'm tired. I have some reviews to do for you with some beauty products. I cannot wait. They are amazing products and I can't wait to show them with you. Okay, go. Some makeup to play Leave. To you go guys. play with your makeup. So, like, tart or anything like that but you already you already good. said so, this anyways guys um thank you so much for watching this video and welcome back and thank you for being patient with me and i really appreciate it so i'll see you guys later and for those of you who are going to be at my live stream stop talking um, in tomorrow's video bye guys so that was it. Chantal graced us on screen with a big old nothing burger. <laughs> she she gave us nothing. She lost her cat in a hotel room. She's getting her apartment fumigated from the roaches. And she clickbaited us with some health updates. She gave a small health update at the very end about her wound <laughs> from a surgery that happened at this point a couple months ago. And so I'm just like, girl, what, what was that? I'm almost like, do I even post this? I mean, I'm gonna, cause I filmed it. But I'm just like, sis, you, you waited a whole month and then that's, that's how you want to make your comeback? Okay, I see you, girl. I see you. You're the same girl I knew you were. Absolutely. So that's all I have time for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell button as well so you get a notification every single time I go live. 
Also, make sure to leave me some comments, hit the like button, and follow me on all of my social media. I had a whole lot of fun with y'all today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!